Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I just wanted to share with you my top foundations for mature skin. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between one and two ish. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okay. I'm like, so super excited you know i thought i did this video before my hair is all janked up i tried to do that roller thing i'm gonna try and put a short up uh yeah it didn't come out as good as everybody else's but anyway i could have sworn i did a video on my foundations but i think i just did a short on it but anyway so i figured let's get down and dirty and do it here right so i have five fantastic um, foundations that I have been loving, 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 loving. I want to say lately, but they're a combination of some new foundations, some old foundations. So let's just start right from the get-go, shall we? This beautiful PS. I do have one of these pumps that I picked up from Amazon, but I do know that I think this comes in a pump, but I have a few, so I'm going to keep on using my old stuff. But anyway, I'll link this below anyway, just in case you want to get these pumps for other foundations. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I love this. I love this so, so much. It is so, so beautiful. For me personally, on those no makeup makeup days, I reach for this all the time. But let me just share with you some of its properties. I mean, it's not a new foundation. I don't think any of this stuff is new to tell you the truth. So I just wanted to share with you what, what properties each one of them has. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic um, Tinted Serum. It does contain 1% hyaluronic acid, um, which instantly brightens, evens, and hydrates the skin. Ooh, something is so itchy. Um, I love Love this i love this so so much like i said love this for a, a no makeup makeup day what i have been loving and you guys know that because i talk about this all the time is the l'oreal true match super blendable foundation now i know this one comes in a pump they just reformulated it but girl like i said with the other one i have a few of these so i'm going to keep on using it actually i did just recently see and i don't know when this video is going up but i did recently um watch um angie from angie hot and flashy and she tested this she tested both this out and the new formula because she was the one who um talked me into this it's so good and she did say that even though it's a little bit different um she likes both of them so i'm like so super excited actually these two right over here is what i have on my face today it is so friggin pretty my hair i don't know what the hell it looks like a frizz ball there but whatever it is what it is but these are the two that i have on my face today it's so pretty hold on let me just check yeah mm -hmm. yeah it is beautiful yeah it is so so nice so i have been loving these so so much let's let me just share with you the properties of the the blendable foundation a lot of them have like the same properties i guess that's why i love them so much so anyway the the true match super blendable makeup is let's see here um i guess this description is from the new version because this says um shades are now cleaner truer and even more natural so i guess this is the description from the new formula doesn't matter they're still delicious um yeah i think it's so beautiful let's see here it's got precise match technology this of course is uh a, like a medium coverage it is so good you could almost borderline build it up to full it's so beautiful it just leaves your skin so radiant and it looks flawless to me in my opinion love 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 them girl you know how i feel about the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation i know like when this came out some people loved it some people didn't it is pretty um luminous and glowy if you don't like that look you're not gonna like it i love it i'm 55 years old i have normal skin with a little bit of dry patches here and there of course now that it's winter time it's even more dry i i love it i absolutely love 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 um, this foundation same thing girl i mean just like everything else long wearing natural finish medium coverage hyaluronic acid they all really have the same properties um, let's see here blah 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 buildable coverage hydrate smooth blurs pores and brightens skin 
I mean, it is so beautiful. Um, I will say sometimes if it does get a little bit too glowy, like in my T-zone, I'll just powder. And you know, girl, I don't like powder that much. So I'll just powder where I feel like it's uh, just too glowy, but it's so, so beautiful. Now, this one is my original Grandmaster Flash Love. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin, uh, but better foundation in skincare. I adore, adore this foundation. I do have mine. I do have mine. Yes, I do have on mine. I do. The one I picked is Medium Neutral 31. It is so beautiful. And again, same dog on properties, natural finish, liquid formula, long wearing. Yep. So it works with skin's natural texture, blah, blah, blah. It's all the same thing. They're all beautiful. You know, what's interesting is that the majority of these, um, the majority of these descriptions, girl, they're almost identical, but somehow they look different on the face, right? Isn't that so bizarre? Because I'm just reading up the It Your Skin, natural, hyaluronic acid, hydrating, liquid formula, medium coverage. They all say the same stinking thing, but they're a little bit different and a little bit special in their own way. It's so, so beautiful. And then last but not least that I have been loving that I can't get away from, for the love of the Lord up above, is the makeup by Mario. This is her, his Surreal Skin Foundation. I have mine in 8N. Let me see what you say about that. I mean, same exact thing. Let me see here. Natural finish, hydrating, long wearing, medium coverage. Uh-huh. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. A breathable luminous foundation. Like, I think, like, speaking of, like, luminous, these over here, this is way more luminous, in my opinion, than this one does. I know, like people were comparing the it with the makeup at mario because if you look super close which i don't think you're going to be able to see the sun's going down now so we will see how this comes out um but you can see that's got like some shimmers in here that people were so concerned about girl you can't see anything on your face at all um they are all so so beautiful but now that i'm reading it to you now that i'm sharing the love with you girl i mean it, they all say the same thing but yet they're all special in their own way. I couldn't say, like, I think these two right here, the um, It Cosmetics and the, and the Makeup by Mario, in my opinion, are pretty close in, I guess, formula and the way it looks on my skin. But um, they're all special. They're all special to me. So that is it, guys. These are my five foundations that I think are fantastic for mature skin. Um, leave me some comments down below. I'm so curious of um, what you guys wear, what you guys like. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? Leave it down below. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys, be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.